I am sorry, and I apologize unreservedly. Those words from Toronto's chief of police after a detailed report confirms what Toronto's black and other racialized communities have long been saying. New race-based data shows use of force and strip searches involving officers affects them more than anyone else. And at this point, much needs to be done to address it. There is a disproportionate impact experienced by racialized people, and particularly those from black communities. It's been said many times in the past, only now it's backed up with proof. An analysis of race-based data from 2020 shows that there were 86,500 interactions involving Toronto police with the public, 949 of which resulted in use of force. From that, it was determined black residents were 2.2 times more likely to experience enforcement action with officers. Members of the black community then had force use against them 1.6 times more than other groups. As challenging as our findings are, this day presents an opportunity for us to be and to do better. In fact, because our legitimacy is tied to public trust, it tells us that we must be better. The data also shows that more Middle Eastern, Southeast Asian and Latino people experienced use of force compared to their portion of the population. When force was used, it was determined that a black person had a firearm pointed at them one and a half times more than someone who is white. Toronto Police also analyzed data related to more than 7,000 strip searches that took place in 2020. They found Indigenous people were 1.3 times overrepresented compared to arrests made, while Black and white people were strip searched 1.1 times more. As we said in the early stage, earliest stages of this journey, we could not fix what we did not measure. I know that some could say, could, could, I'm sorry, I know that some say we could have and should have acted earlier, even without the data. As a result of all the findings, the service has established 38 actions planned to address them, with ongoing analysis and an expansion of the studies to include other key statistics. While Chief Raymer addressed questions about the findings, Beverly Bain, with the No Pride in Policing Coalition, was on hand to speak up in response. I'll say to you, Chief Rema, this is very, this is a, it, you, you talk about it being a painful and a hurtful process to your, your police officers, but this is insulting to black people. This is insulting to indigenous people. This is insulting to racialized people. Chief Rema, we do not accept your apology. <clears throat> The Toronto Police Union, meanwhile, calling the data disappointing and saying it, quote, does not reflect the totality of each engagement and no context given to the circumstance or individual officers were faced with. An internal warning was also reportedly sent to Toronto police officers about public reaction that can be expected as a result of the data being released. Mark McAllister, City News.